If you've been hospitalized, in most instances, the hospital will take samples of your blood for medical purposes. This is usually to test whether or not there's some underlying medical condition that could be explaining some of the symptoms that the doctors are seeing, or the reason that you've been involved in an accident. If the hospital takes your blood for medical purposes, the police can obtain a later warrant to seize the actual vial of blood that was taken from you. There are a number of issues that arise in hospital warrants. One of them is the information that police got from the medical personnel that were treating you and from you, and whether or not that information is actually admissible as grounds to get a warrant. Another issue is the type of sample that was taken from you. There are different types of vials into which blood samples are drawn. The type of vial can indicate what type of preservative is in the vial and how long the blood is suitable for analysis. Certain preservatives can interfere with the ability to do a proper forensic analysis, while certain preservatives may not keep the blood sample fresh long enough for it to be analyzed. Anytime hospital blood is seized by police using a warrant, there are often many legal issues to challenge the admissibility of the samples. Police need to contemplate these issues and document as much detail as possible about the process of the hospital taking the blood, where the blood was stored, how they learned of the blood, and what vials the blood was found in, and the condition of those vials at the time that the blood was seized. Hospital warrants are often an issue that can cause significant difficulty in impaired driving investigations, but they are the most common way that blood samples are taken from suspected impaired drivers following a collision where the driver is hospitalized.